If you're a big swim team and you like to order a lot of gear, maybe you ought to check out Swim Outlet Team Division for these reasons. Swim teams receive a 10% discount on bulk orders. Swim teams or organizations get an 8% commission on referred sales. You'll also like their customization services, which is affordable and available at all times during the year for all team gear. With over 50,000 items in stock, you can get most anything you want. Swim Outlet Team Division. You need to try it out. You'll be glad you did. This is the Morning Swim Show for Wednesday, October 16th, 2013. I'm your host, Jeff Cummings. The Notre Dame men's and women's swim teams got their season started last weekend with some competition in the Rolfs Aquatic Center. Junior Emma Reaney was one of the top swimmers for the Fighting Irish, even posting one of the fastest times in the 100 breaststroke so far this season. Emma here, is here now in the Finise Monitor from South Bend, Indiana. Emma, it's great to see you. How are you today? How are you? I am doing very well, thanks. So uh, I want to talk about this 0094, the 100 breast you did last weekend against the, in your tri meet with um, Indiana and Auburn. Very impressive for the first meet, I think. What are your thoughts about it? Well, thank you. First of all, um, I don't know. I I'm happy with it. I'm very happy with it. Um, but Brian's kind of conditioned us to not exactly be surprised because. He's taught us to never really know what to expect from ourselves because um, the past two years I have gone above and beyond what I ever thought I was capable of. So um, I'd say it's a great starting point, and uh, he told me that it was more 200 breaststroke than 100 breaststroke. So I um, guess that's a good sign for my 200. Well, I mean, we, I think probably a lot of us were very surprised about your 100 breaststroke last inch double A's. You got fifth in, in the final. Uh, do you consider yourself more of a 200 breaststroker than a 100 breaststroker? Um, someone actually asked me this weekend what my best event was, and I couldn't, I don't think I could answer that. I don't know. I would say with um, my strength and my stroke counts, I would probably be more of a 200 breaststroker. I like to um, really feel my pull out front. So, yeah, as of right now, I'd say I'm a 200 breaststroker. Well, and, and when you're in season, usually the speed isn't there. It doesn't come around until the end of the season. So I'd probably, if you're, if you're kind of, you know, both great at both events, like some breaststrokers are, um, usually it's the 200 that's the better event of the season. Is that usually true for you? Yeah. Um, I actually didn't get a swim at this past weekend. So for the first meet, we'll never really know this year, but um, hopefully we'll find that out pretty soon. Well, before you had this try meet with Indiana and Auburn, you got to participate in that great meet, the Dennis Stark Relays. Um, what's your mindset when it comes to, to racing and relays? Oh, man. Well, for that meet, it's more of just having fun because I got to swim a 400 IM relay, so I got to do 100 IM, which I haven't done since I was 10. So um, that one's that meet's really fun. But um, as far as relays and, like, bigger meets, um, I don't know. There's more pressure because you have three other girls that you're swimming for, but also I feel like it really gets people into the team aspect of big meets more. Um, people rally around you more, and our team is really known for dancing and going crazy behind the blocks no matter how big the meet is. So, um, yeah, I love relays. I think it's really fun. Well, I think the dancing kind of really helps loosen everybody up because you get to NCAAs, obviously it's the biggest college meet of the year. you got to – you can't go into it with any any kind of pressure because most people just don't perform that well with it. Um, but that Florida medley relay, I mean, you guys did really well. You got in the consolation final last year. Um, was that a surprise, or was that something that you guys really expected to be able to do this past season? Um, I think we knew that that was our best relay and our best shot at making it back. So um, it wasn't really a shock. It was, you know, we were, we had been planning for it. So. Um, yeah, that was really exciting. Really fun. So 13th place this past season. Um, I'm thinking you guys are, are really wanting to move up five places and get yourself in the final. What do you guys, What is it going to take for that to happen? Oh, wow. What is it going to take? Um, well, for hundreds of stroke, obviously uh, there's a lot to be found in the details, and Brian's got us working on that really soon. Um, I mean, really early on the season we um, have been working on turns and starts and stuff like that and I think that's really going to help us a lot um, 
We lost Kim Holden, though, our senior uh, butterfly. Our stats kind of hurt us, so we need to find someone to fill that spot pretty soon. Well, speaking of NCAAs, you, you um, first broke a minute your freshman year um, in the 100 breaths and then did really well at the NCAAs your freshman year. And then, as I said last year, you got fifth. Um, you know, obviously, if you want to be in contention for the NCAA title, you got to go 58 or at least you know 57 high of these days. Um, are we going to see something of, of sub 59 this season? Do you think that's in you? Absolutely. Um, I went to 58, I think, at Big East last year, so I know I can do it. And um, yeah, I'm just working towards that 57. I'm I'm gonna do it. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say you went 58 at the Big East, and then you just weren't able to do that at NCAA's. You know, what was what was the difference between the two meets? I'm not sure exactly. Um, like I said, I like the Turner better because the hundred every little bit counts, and it might have just been a turn or a pullout wasn't quite as strong. My strong counts were the same, so Brian and I haven't quite analyzed that one yet, so we'll see. Well, um, I mean, you keep talking about how you you feel like you maybe be a better 200 swimmer than a hundred swimmer. Are you a better short course swimmer or a better long course swimmer? Up until this summer, I thought I was a better short course swimmer because uh, I really like my walls, especially on breaststroke. My pullouts are definitely one of my strengths, but uh, U.S. Open this summer kind of turned that thought on its head. Yeah, I mean, that was a really, really surprising swim, I think, for a lot of people, especially because, you know, you don't, a lot of people who do well at NCAAs are, are have, usually have trouble translating that to long course. So was that something that you and, and Brian had worked on in terms of, you know, making that transition to becoming better in long course? Um, not specifically. We trained all short course last year during the collegiate season. And then um, this past summer I only swam long course, so that's pretty much it. And I lifted – uh, four, four times a week over the summer as opposed to three and I think just the pure strength really helped me a lot over the summer when I didn't have my walls. Well, you grew up in Lawrence, Kansas, which is uh, between Kansas City and Topeka. Uh, yep. What got you interested in swimming? <laughs> um, I'm, I was a pretty hyperactive child. My parents put me in every sport imaginable. I was a dancer, played soccer, basketball, t-ball. Um, tennis, gymnastics, everything, and I got so bored of it all really fast, and we had a friend that was swimming, and they were like, all right, let's just try it. It's our last hope, and the first day I got in the water, and the head coach was like, hey, try breaststroke kick, and I got breaststroke kick right, right away, and so they were like, all right, she can stay, so, so well, that was yeah. just... When you, when you exhibit a talent, a natural talent to do breaststroke kick, you, you're, there's no way you're getting out of that sport. No. <laughs> well, you were very busy in high school. I, I read that you were part of the National Honor Society. You were part of an a cappella uh, singing choir. Um, and I also saw that you were the French Outstanding Student. So say something in French. Say my name is Emma Rini and I'm a junior at Notre Dame. I can't even. I can only say the first part. Je m'appelle Emma Rini. I haven't taken French in two years, so... I've lost a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing how quickly it can go away. Well, how, what, did, was that something you thought, um, you know, you wanted to be able to continue to take, or was it just something, you know, you, it's a requirement in high school, and you just were that good at it that you were an outstanding student? Oh, uh, yeah, no, I wasn't really planning on continuing it. I, I love French. It was fun. I had a blast in high school, but uh, the college level of foreign languages is a little bit different, and I took my uh, required class here and decided that I wasn't really going to continue with that. That's okay. What are you? What is your major at Notre? At Notre ah, sorry, at Notre Dame. I'm a graphic design major, uh, business e economics minor. Okay, oh. graphic design with an economics minor. So, how do those two mesh together? <laughs> um, not, not very specifically. Uh, I just, to be honest with you, I needed more credits after I fulfilled all my major credits and. The minor that made the most sense was business, and I think it really uh, is just good common sense for everyone to know. And if I ever wanted to start my own freelance uh, design business, having that kind of knowledge would be really helpful. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you need the economic business standpoint of that. Uh, I want to go back to this a cappella choir thing because we had another Notre Dame swimmer on the show this time last year, Frank Dyer, and he uh, kind of divulged to us that he had a singing background. So. 
I think there's something in the offing where the two of you should get together and sing the national anthem at a dual meet or maybe conference or maybe even get USA Swimming to have you two do it at national sometime. Oh my gosh, <laughs> maybe. Um, actually, one of my other teammates, Kelly Ryan, is also a singer, and she and I sang the national anthem at a basketball game last last year. Wow, that is that's quite amazing. So, do you, is this something that you continue to practice and work on your your singing talent, or is it just something that, like breaststroke kick, just keeps coming naturally to you? <laughs> I wouldn't say it comes naturally. I don't know. I I just tried out for our acapella choir my junior year and made it and loved it had so much fun and kelly and frank were both part of a, a group here on campus and i tried out and didn't make it so i'm not bitter no i'm kidding <laughs> um, it's a very small group but uh yeah i just kind of do it for fun now well i don't i i put frank on the spot and asked him if he would sing and i don't want to put you on the spot because you're not prepared or anything but i think that's something we would love to see we'd love to you know we've had a lot of amazing musical talent discovered on this show and um it's great to see that, that swimmers have that, that of these other talents outside the pool. Yeah, well, maybe some other time. Maybe some other I know. We didn't prepare you, and it's not something you could just belt out a song right away, just <laughs> unprepared. Yeah. Uh, well, before we let you go, we want to submit you to our final five. These are five questions that we use to get to know you better, not that we don't already know you pretty well right now. Uh, but let's get started here with our first question. If you could re if you could change the order of the strokes in the individual medley, how would you change them? Hmm, I don't know because for breaststrokers, uh, they're pretty great right now. Uh, I'm gonna give a breaststroke last, just switch breasts and freeze, that I could hit them with the breaststroke at the very end when they're all tired. <laughs> What's a career that you would most like to try? Most like to try. Probably. A marine biologist. I'd love to play with dolphins. And what's a career you would not like to try? Mm, there's a lot of those. Uh, really, anything that involves me uh, being in a cubicle, sitting at a desk alone. Makes sense. Uh, if you could change or add any of the rules in the swimming rule book, what would it be? Change or add? Any of the rules. Um, maybe get rid of the 15 meter rule for me just so I and you can do more than one pull out that'd be pretty cool too if I could do more than one pull out I don't know you, you probably would regret that in the end of a 200 breaststroke <laughs> <laughs> alright last question where do you like to go on vacation where do I like to go on vacation anywhere I love to travel I lived in England for 7 months in 1st grade um, so Europe is, has a special place in my heart, so I'd love to go back there. Yeah, well, I'm yeah. sure eventually, as, as well as you're progressing in the sport, we'll have, you'll have the opportunity to travel and compete in a yeah. new city around the world. Well, it's Emma, out. thanks so much for joining us. Um, congratulations on the great start to the season. We're looking forward to seeing how things progress for you, not just for you, but the rest of the Notre Dame team. Thank you so much. All right, give our best to everybody there in, in uh, South Bend. I will. All right, so thanks for everybody for joining us for today's edition of the Morning Swim Show. I'm Jeff Cummings. Thanks for watching.